Today we are going to be working on the hen house. Not really so much working on it, but working around it. I need to get all of these trees cut away from it because they're destroying it basically. And you can see there's just trees all the way around it. It's going to be quite a bit of work and it's going to be kind of tricky too because I don't want them to fall in the building. And there's just a bunch of brush on the outside and bushes and just it just has been neglected for years. But what I really want to do is I want to get everything cut away from the building so I can paint it. I bought the paint and everything for it, but everything being so close to it makes it difficult to paint as well. So we just need to take this back from nature. So let's get to it.
I'll take that. So this is where the tree was just rubbing on the roof. This is all caved in. You can see it just like shredded the metal over time. Just the tree constantly moving from the wind and stuff. It just destroys this roof. But it's not really that bad. There is a beam right here too. So, I mean, all this wood's rotted, but it'll be fine. <laughs> and unfortunately we hit right here, but didn't knock the building over so that's good it'll be all right that was probably well now this one over here is probably going to be trickier because it's actually leaning quite a bit more towards the building so i might want to hook a rope up to the top of it and pull it this way while i'm cutting it but this part we should be able to drop easy this one's definitely going to be easy so seems safe. <laughs> Let's get the tractor in here and clean up all this stuff. These trees right here are really in my way. I'm trying to fit in between them and it's just not working out. So we're just gonna cut them down. since the last clip you saw. So this is current time right now. I stopped recording the last one because my old camera just kept overheating, which this one kind of does it too, so I don't know. So what I want to do now is continue cutting these trees down and all around the hen house here. There's only a couple trees I want to keep. There's a lot of walnut trees that I want to keep. Well, mostly just the bigger ones. But we're gonna start with these right here that are right next to the hen house and hopefully we can get them dropped cleanly and not hit the building. came down pretty easy this one is going to be the problem though because it's actually leaning towards the building and if i notch it it's going to want to fall that way Oh. 
way back when I figure out something. So I got strap tied to the tree just under where I cut it up there because I didn't want that to break off. And I got that tied all the way back here to the forerunner. So now I'm going to cut it down there at the bottom just a little bit just so it's like barely starting to move. And then I'm going to get in there and just tug it and hopefully it'll break and fall this way. Well, that was a close call with the camera, but <laughs> that worked out exactly how I was hoping it would. So that's great. I think that was probably the biggest tree that we had to like cut down right next to it. It was probably the riskiest one. So all the rest of them should be fairly easy. There's a lot on the other side, but they're not near as big. So hopefully they won't be as big of a problem. But this side is pretty much all cleared out now. I need to take this tree out. And then this walnut tree right here I'm leaving. And then there's another little walnut tree next to it that I'm going to cut down. I really wasn't even planning on doing this today. This is also a good time to mention that I'm probably going to be not doing videos every week from now on. I really don't know when I'll be posting videos because there's not a whole lot that I'm doing outside right now. I'm just going to keep moving around and keep cutting these trees down. This fence and gate right here, I guess there's really just a gate right here. I need to get this out of here too, but... I didn't really have a plan to get the tractor going today. I just wanted to cut some trees down because I've just kind of been sitting inside for a little while and it's nice to get outside every once in a while. Well, I think I'm going to end it there. I don't think I'm actually going to pick any of this up right now. I realized when I switched over the tractor and everything to the winter season, um, that quick coupler and stuff I changed over and I honestly just don't really feel like changing all that back right now to put the grapple on. So I'm just going to leave this. It's really not going to hurt anything leaving this over the winter like this. I got the trees down. That's really all that matters. In the spring we'll have some videos to do. So yeah, this building's coming along. But the major reason I'm trying to get these down is so I can paint it. There's just so many trees around it that it's impossible to paint. So next spring, finish getting these trees down, and then we'll paint this and the garage at the same time. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. We do have the FJ40, the Land Cruiser. We will be doing videos on that, but I don't know when I'm actually going to start doing those. I might wait a little bit till like after Christmas to do those. So I don't know. It's really just how I feel and what I want to do. So thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.